All right, good morning, YouTube friends. This is Travis again, and today we're going to be hiking up to Gregory's Cave, uh, which I didn't even know existed until just a few days ago when I was doing some uh, research. And um, so we're going to see if we can find that today. Uh, but before we get started, uh, the hardest part is figuring out how to get here uh, as far as directions goes. So let me go ahead and uh, give you the directions on how to get here, and those are coming up right now. If you're driving from the Maryville Alcoa area, you'll pass through the city of Townsend, and then you'll come up here to the Townsend Y. Uh, if you were to go left, that takes you back towards Gatlinburg, but we are headed to the right uh, towards Cades Cove, and actually Cades Cove is our destination for today. Alright, so we're coming up to the entrance here of Cades Cove. Um, over to your left, if you would turn there, um, that takes you towards the uh, campground, the picnic area. There is a, a store there. Um, so if you turn left, that'll take you to that um, those particular things. Um, but we're going to go on straight ahead up here to the actual entrance of Cades Cove. Uh, it takes about 12 minutes uh, from the Townsend Y to get to this point. As you can see, there are already a few people uh, up here. Gotta go through this little creek area. the John Oliver cabin which is over here to our right situated all right so there's where we just drove in from and then we parked here there's the Mazda on the left and here is the entrance um, to the trail that will be starting here very shortly all right so welcome back hopefully it wasn't too hard to find this place uh, I've been coming here all my life through Cades Cove in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park and uh, never even knew this was here until just a few days ago. So anyway, let me uh, switch over to my chest mount and we'll get started. All right, so here's the road. Um, and I don't know if you can see the Mazda in the background back there, but you're only gonna walk a few feet and then come up to this gate. 
and I have heard that you cannot park in this area, this particular area, uh, or you will get towed. So just keep that in mind. And I honestly do not know um, how long this takes. I don't really consider it a hike. It's probably just gonna be more like a walk in the woods, but I couldn't find any information uh, as far as how long it takes to hike this. So we'll time it and see. Well, that didn't take long to get up here to this particular area where the picnic tables are at. So I'm not 100% sure what this would have been. Definitely had some kind of a metal latch on it. Uh, but anyway, here is the picnic areas that I saw in a couple other videos which is pretty neat. Definitely been here for a while. Here is the other one, which is definitely not in as good a shape as the first one. Just checking that out, looks like a sinkhole. And this might be it already. Which is, if it is, Huh. It took me about three minutes to walk here. So this is not a 
long little walk at all. All right. So, there is the cave itself. I do know from what I read online that it is blocked off and that you cannot uh, get down in there now. But, leave my backpack there for a second. Let's get my flashlight. Since we're here, we're gonna go down as far as we can anyway. And hopefully there's no critters down here. Oh, but it is nice and warm. Hmm. Oh, my glasses are fogging up. I hope the GoPro doesn't. Get <laughs> off real quick. All right, let me see if I can position the GoPro here while it's on my chest. Can't really see much. My glasses have fogged up, so I am almost completely blind. So I'm hoping the GoPro, let's wipe that off a little bit. Hopefully you're able to see some back through there. They did gate this off that I read, and I'll give you a little bit more information here in a minute when I get back out of the cave. I just want to see what it's like. It's amazing how warm this is down here, though. It's like a sauna. I don't know if you can see the, the ceiling here. There is some water dripping off, if that's what you hear in the background. But you can't really go in that far. I'm gonna wipe this lens off again. I don't know if it's fogging up, but my glasses are completely fogged over. So I'm just really hoping that you were able to see some of this. Try one more time. Get the GoPro up here. And as you can see, it does go off into the back a ways. Well, at least there's no critters in here at the moment. I'm sure in the summertime there may be. And actually, with it being this warm, I'm surprised there's not something in here. Let me climb out here. Oh. All right. So... Here's just kind of a, a view of the area. Let's walk up here for a minute. So definitely a lot of rocks in this area. And then here is where we were at. Cave is right down below us. So here's a view from up here.
All right, so let me head back down. Well, just one more piece of information. Uh, while I was about to head out, here's the cave. So I was packing up my stuff to go and I heard a tree, what well, sounded like a tree crashing. And this just fell from way up there <clears throat> and just landed. No wind blowing, um, no animals around. Just, I heard a crushing sound and uh, looked up, luckily I was, you know, 20 feet away, but um, the, I mean, this huge limb just fell for no reason. So when you're in the woods here, be careful. Um, luckily I heard it uh, quickly. It was a slow breaking sound and looked up and realized that I was not in the immediate danger. Uh, but those things can happen uh, just unexpectedly. So just make sure that you are aware and uh, just be careful when you're out here, especially by yourself. All right, so that was Gregory's Cave. Um, just a little bit of history on it. Uh, this was at one point used as a fallout shelter. Um, and then in 1925, the Gregory family that still lived here after the National Park uh, had been established, uh, they turned it into a tourist attraction. So I think you could pay like 50 cents or so and, and go in. That's why they had the picnic tables uh, set down there for kind of like a staging area. And then that lasted for a few years and then of course they, uh, they end up shutting it down. And now they've got it gated off where you can't get back through there just for uh, safety reasons. And I had read online that um, they had turned this into like a, um, like a, uh, a bat refuge. And there were supposed to be some uh, bat uh, houses or bat boxes on the trees on the way in. And I couldn't see those. So uh, anyway, I'll try to look for them on the way out. But I didn't see them on the way in. But like I said earlier... Um, I didn't even know this place existed. I've lived here my entire life. I've been through Cades Cove probably a hundred times and uh, driven past this and had no idea this uh, cave uh, even existed. So when I saw online a couple people had mentioned it, uh, I thought I would check it out. Uh, like I said, I think the hardest part is making sure that you find the right place to park. Um, and then the walk in, it literally took me like three or four minutes. So it's not really a hike, it's just a quick walk. Uh, but anyway, um, hopefully um, that video was uh, entertaining. Uh, I was pretty excited this week to get here. I actually thought that the, the walk itself was going to take a little bit longer. Uh, I brought all my hiking gear like normal and uh, didn't need it. So uh, this is a real quick walk in the woods, just a few minutes. And um, I mean, but it's still something worth seeing. Like I said, um, it is Saturday morning. Uh, it's around 7.52 a.m. It's about 36 degrees outside. So I expect that uh, more people will start showing up here soon in Cades Cove. Uh, and this might be a little busier. Uh, like I said, I didn't even know it existed. So I don't know how popular of a, a spot this is. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that. If so, if you would, hit the like button. And if you could, hit the subscribe button. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. But it will just give you a notification the next time I have another video that comes out. And, uh, you know, spread the word. I'm hoping that uh, these uh, videos are not only entertaining, but they're informative. Uh, like I said, I didn't even know this place existed, and I didn't know how to get here until now. So uh, hopefully this will help someone. Uh, if so, please leave uh, some feedback in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, but until then, um, we'll talk to you later.